it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here for your next PB&J card class. Today I'll be using Penny Black stickers called Christmas Joy and combining them with our creative dies to create a set of Christmas cards. So here's a look at that complete set and you'll notice that on each card um, I've incorporated one of the dies which coordinate great with the stickers. So for the first card we'll be creating here, I am coordinating the stamp with the Penny Black Creative Die Snowflake Trio. And what I'm doing on all of these cards is I'm just coloring my dies, so I cut them all from white cardstock, and I'm coloring them with Copic markers to coordinate with the image on the sticker. You could also use your Distress inks, any kind of ink or markers that you have on hand um, to color these to match the stickers. So I'm using here, I started with RV19, colored that in the center, then I'm adding R08, and then I'll add R05 to the tips of that snowflake. And that will really match up with that bottom portion of the sticker down at the bottom. If you wanted to mass produce these cards, you could even um, die cut these from colored cardstock and add them to save you the time of coloring. So on this next one, I'm using the sticker, which is in the center there, and the creative die dancing leaves. So I'm just kind of playing with my arrangement there to see what I like. And then I'm going to go ahead and match to the, the sticker, the leaves on the sticker. So some are green and some are kind of a turquoise color. So I'm going to start with my greens here. And I actually first pulled um, YG67 and YG63 and started coloring the leaves. And you'll see me do that here. And I just start with my darkest color towards the bottom of the leaf. And then I add my lighter color on top to blend. And I've listed all of the Copic colors I used for this complete set at the end of the video. So I'm just adding that in. I'm doing you know, roughly every other leaf so that I leave some to do that turquoise color on. But when I finished these, I kind of looked at them with the um, sticker and they didn't, they just weren't quite that olive color. So I did pull out YG99 and YG95 to just go right over the top with the same technique, the dark on the bottom and the light on the top to really give them that olive look. So once I had all the greens done, I went ahead and pulled out my sort of turquoise color. So I'm using BG09 and BG49 to, again, match that to the sticker. And then for the berries, I used R05 and RV19. And throughout all of these cards, because the stickers coordinate, you can just kind of grab the, find, once you find the colors that coordinate, then you can just keep them out and do all of your dies and everything will match. And then here um, I added the color for sort of the twig along the branch and I used E15. And then just to darken that up a little bit, I grabbed E29. and then I added it to the card. Now here's three more samples. So for this one, again, using those same colors I used before, I used the Penny Black Creative Dye Ornaments, which coordinated great with that sticker. Then for this one, I was looking for a die that really tied into on that top part of the circle, sort of those uh, berry twigs. And so for this one, I used Nature's Song, but I, took, I didn't use the bird portion. And then for this final card, I used um, the dye holly berries, and I just used a part of that, sort of extended the twig of the bird. For details and more information, visit the Penny Black website, www.pennyblackink.com, and here's a list of all the dyes, stickers, and stamps used, as well as the Copic marker colors. Thanks for watching.